I'm an e-discovery lawyer and I started practicing e-discovery in about 2004. The thing that I bring to e-discovery um, and for my clients is that I have both the experience as a litigator and I also understand the technology that's important uh, for ESI and to deal with issues related to um, electronic discovery. My goal for my clients is to save them money. So everybody has to comply with their electronic discovery obligations. The question is how can you do it the best um, and do it the most cost effectively? So that's my job, is to help them make the best, most cost effective decisions in meeting their obligations in e-discovery. And um, it's fun because it's a lot of technology, so I really enjoy it. It's a real challenge of how do I put in a program effectively to reduce my risk while still not sending my costs to the roof, particularly in this economy that we have right now. And so it's that balance that's really, it's a hard thing to strike and it really does require somebody who comes in and, and understands what the choices are that you need to make in risk versus preservation. The reason that I decided to start my own firm was really because as I met with clients, I saw there was a need for clients to have somebody to come in and help them understand from a legal perspective, with legal advice, what they needed to do in their organization to best be able to achieve the balance of risk versus cost and e-discovery on a matter-by-matter -matter basis. It's that balancing of the, the cost versus risk that is really what I bring to the table and the, the understanding of technology as the other piece of it. I've spent the last five years really learning all of the technology that, that the vast majority of lawyers don't know. 